Hey there, Concho Valley meteorologist Chris Boone here with your weather update that we unfortunately couldn't get on the air because of the clock got sh cut short just a little bit. So we still want to make sure you get the latest weather forecast. And looking at the national satellite and radar, still seeing plenty of that moisture moving in over the state of Texas, and that's because of high pressure back over the southeast. That's going to stay in place for the next couple of days. So we're going to see these rain chances as well as these cloudy conditions and cooler temperatures. That's going to continue for at least the next couple of days. Still seeing plenty of that moisture rain showers moving in along the Gulf Coast that's bringing that moisture towards us here in the Concho Valley we definitely bringing that cloud coverage and we saw some spotty showers earlier in the day as the day progressed most of it has stayed off towards our east at least the heavier stuff still the better chances for rain showers as we go through the weekend are still going to stay in our eastern counties um, as that Gulf moisture continues to kind of move in and then as we get into early next week, we'll start to see that high pressure begin to break down over the southeastern United States. And then we'll start to see that moisture slide off towards the east. And we'll start to see conditions to begin to dry out by the middle of next week. We're taking a look right now at our cactus cam looking off towards the north. Again, still seeing those mostly cloudy skies. Some breaks in there, so if you are getting out for the Blues Festival, it's certainly uh, a comfortable day out there. Again, not seeing nearly as many showers as we saw a little bit earlier. Temperatures in the lower 80s and dew points, a little on the muggy side in the mid 60s, but those easterly winds, 17 miles per hour, kind of bringing in that moisture towards much of Texas. Again, temperatures for the eastern parts of the Concho Valley, much cooler. Coleman at 74, 73 in Brady, 76 in Mason, while as our western counties stayed a little bit warmer, got into the mid and lower 80s, 81 in Merton, 86 in Ozona. So again, you can definitely see the uh, impact that the, those cooler temperatures and those rain showers have had. As we go through the, the overnight hours, we'll look at a 20% chance of rain showers, mostly cloudy skies, temperatures only dipping into the mid 60s. It's going to keep us a bit warmer because of that cloud coverage. And then as we go into tomorrow afternoon, very similar temperature wise, mid 80s for us. In breaks, could see a little bit cooler off towards our eastern counties, maybe only getting into the upper 70s. Mostly cloudy skies, and then a 20% chance of some afternoon rain showers. Severe threat will stay low for the Concho Valley, and that's because we're gonna see it off towards both sides, often towards the east, closer to I-35, and then we'll have that dry line set up well off towards our west, out towards New Mexico, and we stay kind of in the middle where we just see the beneficial rain without any of the severe weather threats. So it's kind of a best of both worlds. Again, going through the future cast, we'll look at rain chances, still staying mostly for our eastern counties, and then as we progress into your work week, we'll start to see that slide off towards the east. That could be bringing some rain showers for both Monday as well as Tuesday, very isolated in nature. And then we'll start to dry things up as we go into Wednesday. We'll finally get a break from that cloud coverage as well. And that's gonna allow for temperatures to begin warming up. So again, 20% chance of rain to start at least the next week as well. Temperatures staying in the mid 80s for highs. And then as we dry out, we'll start to get a little bit of a warming trend see those winds turning from the southwest so again things will begin to warm up before we start to look for another dry line event for next weekend so again just remember to make sure you got the latest forecast and we're going to have another go of it right here on 10 at 10 o'clock right here on klst